Hello everybody, I'm Joe Ziecki and welcome to Hurricane Game Day with University of Miami head coach Frank Haith. Josh Darrow also joins me coming up in a moment. And coming up on the show, we'll take a look back at the Hurricanes games in the ACC. Four tight, heart-pounding ball games. Plus, we'll go behind the scenes in unlimited access as the Hurricanes took on Boston College. All of that and more coming up next right here on Hurricane Game Day. Cut harder. Come on, AT. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Hurricane Game Day. I'm Joe Zagaki mm -hmm. alongside Josh Darrow and University of Miami head coach Frank Hate. The Hurricanes playing four exciting games in the ACC, kicking off the conference schedule. A couple of big games coming up as well, which we will be talking about, including Georgia Tech and Virginia. Josh Darrow, of course, head coach Frank Haith. And uh, coach, four games coming out on the wrong side. Four games decided by 11 points. Uh, tough, hard-fought games. They were tough, hard-fought games. I thought our kids competed. Um, we had a chance in every ball game. Uh, it came down to the last shot, uh, all four games. So uh, I think it's a growing experience. Our guys have, uh, have continued to play. And uh, that's what you want. And you know, we expect them to continue to play. Uh, there's going to be some good things to happen in this ball club if we continue to play the way we're playing in terms of playing hard. Coach, I know you, you talked after the Virginia Tech game and, and you talked about how uh, proud you were of your kids and how they compete and how that has never waned uh, with your team even through these disappointing and hard-fought times. Yeah, and, and you know, it's, it's easily they could, you know, and I think that uh, that's, you got to give them credit for uh, uh, continuing to go out with a, a, a good spirit and, and good attitude and and, um, and willingness to accept coaching. And, uh, um, you know, at some point in time, the ball is going to bounce our way. And I think that, that we just got to stay true to the course. Coach, how, do you, uh, how, do you, how are you able to maintain that? How do you continue to pull that effort out of them? You know, I, sp <clears throat> I spent some time with, uh, on the phone with Rick Barnes uh, about a week ago. And he, uh, you know, his, his comment to me was, they're going to respond the way you respond. And, uh, I think uh, it's important that our coaching staff will continue to uh, coach with the same enthusiasm we have all year um, and, and continue to give our guys what they need to be successful. Coach, you know, through all of this, you know, you, you're talking about one, you know, one possession games. So uh, that means you're, you're, you know, you're that far from, from being on the right side, which means you still have good things happening for your team. You have good performances, good effort, good production from your team. It's just you know, still, I don't know, luck of the bounce, you know, one little thing. So you do have guys that are playing well for you and giving you what you want. Yeah, that's true. And I, I think we've tried to not um, focus on those last possessions, although we do late game situations. Uh, and, and I think for the most part, we've executed pretty well down the stretch. We, we needed to get a stop. We didn't get that stop. We needed a shot. We don't make that shot. Uh, but our execution, other than getting that stop, blocking out, that's something we got to do better. But making the shot, sometimes, you know, you, you just want a good shot. And, uh, but I want our guys to focus on the other 39 minutes of the game. Focus on doing the little things and playing each possession hard, uh, competing, and not, you know, taking a possession off. Coach, we have a couple of other games coming up this week, which we're going to talk about, Georgia Tech and Virginia. But you've always been able to uh, get this team to rally. We're not even to the halfway point of the ACC season, so there's still a lot of basketball to be played. And the last several years, you've used the line about putting together a winning streak. Why not us? And that, that possibility is still out there. And as opposed to football and basketball, there always is a tomorrow. There's no question. I think uh, the football mentality is that when you lose, the season's over with. And I think for us, as long as there are games on our schedule, there's, there's, there's plenty of opportunities. And, you know, we play the top half of this league. Uh, and we're going to continue to play. We got some more games against the top half of this league, like Duke at home and Clemson at home. We still go to Florida State and Boston College. So there's tremendous opportunity for this ball club to get where we want to be. All right, don't go anywhere. We got a lot of basketball to talk about here on the show, including one of our favorite segments, of course, Unlimited Access. That's coming up next as we continue. Right here on Hurricane Game Day, University of Miami head coach Frank Kate, right here on CSN.
And welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS. Joe Zagak alongside Josh Darrow and University of Miami head coach Frank Haith. This is the segment where we go behind the scenes. And thanks to Coach Haith, his staff, and players, they allow us onto the court and into the locker room. This week's edition of Unlimited Access, the Hurricanes take on Boston College. And we go behind the scenes with the Canes against the Eagles of Boston College. We've practiced all week about being better in terms of loose balls, in terms of taking charges, in terms of playing with toughness. We only got 14 more of these to get that done. Let's make sure we don't leave this game and we have to have that same conversation and we say, I could have done something better. Do not let that happen. When this game is over with, you've done every single thing that you could possibly do for us to win the game. And then we can live with it. But every single thing you can do, and that goes 1 through 12, every single thing you can do to help us win. And then we'll be fine. Get excited about playing the game, guys. Get excited about playing. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Pointer. He has eight first half points, and the Canes have a three-point lead. Right wing, Jackson, left alone at the three-point line, dribbles to the free-throw line. Kicks it out, wide open, Raji for three, good in the lead. Corey Raji is killing Miami for three-point range. Scott on the drive, kicks it down low for Gamble. Slam dunk from the left side. Scott to Gamble for the finish. How about that? to play this nerve shredding game. Out of the corner, Adrian Thomas dribbles into the paint. Finds Malcolm Grant, open for three, in the air, and good! Malcolm Grant comes up with a big shot, a big three-pointer, and gives Miami a three-point lead. 67-64, and a great find on offense. The pressure applied by Durant Scott under Reggie Jackson for three, in the air, and good! A cold blooded three pointer, eyeball to eyeball with Duran Scott, and it gives Miami just a one point lead. Stood him, stared him, shot him. Down to 20 seconds and the ball game. 68 67, Paris against Adams for Jackson. Jackson drives baseline left, gamble, left, deflects the shot, it's saved by Miami. Adams has it, and he's fouled by Trapani. Scott saved it. Gamble blocked it. Miami goes to the free throw line. What a defensive play on Reggie Jackson. Julian Gamble. Where did that come from? That's what you wanted from Julian Gamble. The Hurricanes battle back from a five point deficit behind Durant Scott and Darius Adams. A huge three pointer by Malcolm Grant. Miami 72, Boston College 71. And that's your final score at the Bank United Center. We made big plays tonight. It wasn't the prettiest game, and you, uh, and you know, the way they play, and you know, you gotta give them credit. I mean, they kept coming after us. I mean, Jackson kept making big shot after big shot. But you guys, we found a way to win the game. And that's what it's all about. Finding a way to win the game. Leave us our trespass. Leave us those trespass against us. Leave us not temptation. To lose you, as a game, prime, love, forever, and amen. One, two, three. Together. <laughs> All right, some great stuff behind the scenes with the University of Miami and a win against Boston College earlier in the ACC season. Maybe lost, Coach, in the four tough, heartbreaking losses is that you have won one of those games uh, with a young squad. Yeah, that, so that means there's five games in a row that have come down to the last right. possession. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I thought our guys made some big plays in that game. You know, defensively, we were really good in the second half. Uh, we, we did a good job on Jackson. And there were some big plays, you know, winning plays at the end of the game. Julian's block on Jackson at the end of the game. Uh, and, and, and it's good execution on the offensive end, too. So uh, it was a game where I thought, you know, we played very well and we finished the game off. 
Coach, what about uh, Boston College? You know, they get the coaching change. Uh, Al Skinner's out, Steve Don, he's in. So you, over the course of time in the ACC, you're sort of used to playing one style. And then uh, for your preparation for that game, you, you sort of have to adapt to what Donnie he was brought to Boston College. Yeah, it went from being like a meat grinder to like a uh, more of a open court uh, back cut Princeton style offense. And uh, uh, you know those guys adapted very well. The seniors on that team because they're they're a very experienced ball club, and uh, you know they they free flowing, they shoot threes, uh, and you know and they they have like a little Princeton uh, system in there. So. Uh, uh, those guys have bought in and they've done a good job with it. Coach, uh, let's talk a little bit about your backcourt, Malcolm and Duran, uh, so far, giving you a lot of minutes and a lot of production and uh, double figures for both players uh, in a lot of games here, especially against the ACC competition. Yeah, they both played very, very well. Uh, you know, and, um, you know, Malcolm's had a tremendous year. I think Duran also has had a good year, too, but I think he's, he's getting ready to hit stride. You know, he played well against. Virginia Tech, and I expect him to continue to grow in that way. He, five assists, no turnovers, but forget the points, and we need more of that out of, out of Duran. So uh, those guys play well together, and we just we continue to get to groom the rest of our team and get that third guy, and Garrius, is, his production has been pretty good the last couple of games too. Uh, speaking of Garrius, uh, he's getting a lot of playing time and hit a couple of big three-pointers for you against uh, Virginia Tech, but he, uh, he can also drive the ball. He can, and, and, and believe it or not, that's our emphasis. We want to drive the ball. We want to put the ball in the paint. Uh, you know, we, we still outscored Virginia Tech in the paint. We had 32 paint points the other day. Uh, we, we want to throw it in there, we want to drive it in there, and uh, we want to play inside out. Uh, so uh, it's a big part of what we do offensively. All right, as we continue, we'll talk more about what's coming up at the University of Miami, Georgia Tech, and Virginia at the Bank United Center. And when we come back, we'll bring on Julian Gamble as we continue right here on Hurricane Game Day. The University of Miami head coach Frank Cape here on CSN. Back on Hurricane Game Day here on CSS with University of Miami head coach Frank Cave. Joining us on the set now, University of Miami junior forward Julian Gamble. Julian, thanks very much for being with us. Thanks for having uh, Well, let's start with the games. We'll talk to Coach Haith about the tight games. It's been uh, four games decided by 11 points, and uh, you guys have continued to play hard. How are you battling through this? I mean, it's kind of tough to battle through. It's a tough time during the season, but it's important, like Coach said, just to continue to work hard. And nobody on our team has any quit in them. So no matter what the outcome is, we're going to play as hard as we can. Now, I saw, I saw a message from you last uh, a message from you after the game. Uh, social networking, you put it out there in terms of just, we will never give up. And our effort will always be there. So I know you believe uh, in the competitive na nature of this squad and uh, that you guys are going to battle in every game. Yeah, I think we're going to battle every game. I mean, I know my teammates were like brothers, and I know nobody on our team has any quit in them. I mean, we're some of the most competitive guys. We compete on and off the court, whether it be basketball or video games. So I know we'll never give up. Now, have you been ever involved in a situation like this where you played five straight games decided on the last shot? No, I've never been involved in anything anywhere close to that. I mean, anything that's come close to that is just AAU, but it's nowhere near as serious as college basketball is. Well, let's talk about the let's, let's talk about Julian and, and the guys off the floor. You said that you're very competitive on and off. So, so take, take us into one of the guys' apartments, got a nasty game of Madden 2011 breaking out or something like that. What, what, what are you guys competing at? I mean, you guys got the iPads going, there's mm -hmm. checkers, there's Scrabble. I mm -hmm. mean, there's all kinds of good stuff going on. Oh, uh, well, we play 2K11 a lot, basketball, uh, whether it be me and Malcolm or me and Reggie. Me and Reggie battle a lot. It comes down to the last possession a lot of times. So I'm kind of used to seeing that last possession thing, whether it be in real life or on video games. <laughs> Uh, there's probably a joke in there about what you're uh, playing for in terms of maybe that's a hamburger or something. But uh, <laughs> when I first met you, it was in North Carolina. You were being recruited or had been recruited by uh, Frank Haith. And you weren't quite as decorated uh, on both <laughs> arms. So maybe we can get a hold up uh, your arm here because we can get a, a shot of uh, your arm. You have plenty of tattoos. Come on. And uh, maybe talk about why the tattoos are so important to you. Oh, the tattoos, that mean a lot to me. I mean, it's a lot of things that mean a lot to me religiously, and I just want to make sure that that, that that stuff always stays with me. So I kind of remind myself when I just wake up in the morning and just read some of my tattoos. I mean, it's a lot to read, but it, it just keeps me going. Uh, do we have a uh, – we don't have a final count yet, do we? 
No, nah, actually, you we are don't the team have a final cut. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm clearly the team leader. All right, now we got a close up of it. So, uh, well, we had a close up of it. Um, are you going to add to it? <laughs> or are you done? I hope to add to it sooner or later, but maybe not no time soon, especially since we're in season, just focus on basketball right now. Let me ask you this, Julian. Uh, um, you had a chance a couple summers ago to, uh, to head over to Africa with Athletes in Action. Tell us a little bit about that experience, what it was like, and uh, what you saw of the, uh, the, the animal kingdom while you were over there. It was a great experience. It was, it was a chance to go over there and to see a completely new world and just to have a new perspective on things coming back over here and, and really appreciating all the things that some people may take for granted. And when it came to the wildlife, I mean, I had seen like this ox walking around and I seen a monkey just walking around the street one time. Like it, it was really weird. I mean, it just kind of caught me by surprise. All right, so you come here to the University of Miami from North Carolina. Coach Ape lured you from North Carolina. Maybe go back to that and talk about uh, why you chose Miami and what has the experience been like for you, not only on campus, but also in your relationship with Coach Ape. Uh, it was, Miami was a really easy choice. I mean, it was guys here from North Carolina already, like Anthony King, who I knew that actually went to my same exact high school. And just talking to Coach Hafe, I was really comfortable and I was comfortable when I met the guys, just the family atmosphere and how close everybody was. So it was, it was an easy choice just going that far away from home. I feel like that this is my home now. Now, Julian, you are, I think you're pretty much on your way to being graduate. You're almost, I think you're done with your classes, are you not? And we were, we're interning this semester. Uh, you might go for, for, for a master's or dual major the following year. But uh, someone told me um, you've made your way through school and, and, and you're a good dancer. Is that accurate? You made a, get a good grades in the dance class? Yeah, I made pretty good grades <laughs> in the dance class. I just try to, you know what I'm saying, do what the dance he's asking to do. It's not as much dancing as people may think it is. It's a lot of stretching and stuff like that. But it's, it's fun watching us and the football players in there dancing and doing all those moves and stuff. All right, well, you've got a lot of games left and some wins could get you into the big dance. Yeah, I hope so. That he's a pro. I think he's <laughs> a pro. Right. Right. Anyway. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, that's uh, Julian Gamble. And when we come back, we'll continue our preview of the hurricane schedule. Georgia Tech and Virginia Moore head coach Frank Haith right here on Hurricane Game Day on CSA. Welcome back to Hurricane Game Day here on CSS with University of Miami head coach Frank Haith, Joe Zagacki, Josh Darrell also with us. And this week the Hurricanes, a couple of big home games, Georgia Tech and Virginia before going on the road again against Wake Forest. And coach, first of all, it would be nice to have back-to-back -back home games at the Bank United Center. Uh, I mentioned Georgia Tech and Virginia, but a little home cooking and that'll be good. Yeah, I don't know if we've had that this year so far, so it, it, it will be good to have two home games in a week. And, uh, you know, our guys are ready for that. Uh, having that opportunity to, to play two games here and against uh, a good team in Georgia Tech, a team that I think that you know you look at their game against Carolina and you can see their potential of that basketball team. And so uh, we've got to get ourselves ready to compete and be ready to defend our home court. The other thing too, Coach, is you, you, know, you look at the, the schedule coming up, two home games, you, you do have a tight turnaround, right? We're going Thursday uh, and Saturday. So I know you like that sometimes because it gets you prepared for what's coming uh, at the end of the season when you get into the tournament uh, and league play and hopefully beyond. Yeah, I think we have three out of four at home yeah. right in here in this stretch here. So it's a, it's a big opportunity for us to take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, the quick turnaround games, everybody has to go through them. So it's our turn. And, uh, and um, hopefully we, our guys will, you know, we, we manage ourselves and get ourselves ready to play on Saturday. We, uh, we touched on Georgia Tech a little bit earlier in the show, but uh, Shumpert the other night, he almost had a quadruple double. He had an incredible game against Virgi Virginia Tech. He's a big, tough guard, isn't he? He really is. He's, he's taking his game to another level, uh, Joe. I think he's playing like an all-league guard. Um, I mean, he's so athletic, but what he's done, he's, 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 he's become a more well-rounded player. I mean, he shoots a three ball. He also posts you up. I mean, he plays like an NBA guard already with his size. Uh, he's a tough guard, and I hope... Uh, a tough matchup and, a, and, and you know our guards are going to be ready to play we got to you know change up how we guard him. Coach you, you look at a guy like Shumpert and, and he was pretty well regarded coming out of high school and this is year three and he's kind of taken that step and you could almost say the same thing when you look at your own team you know highly recruited players guys you've developed but still fairly young and still sort of uh, in the progress of development they have developed 
but there's still more to grow, and that's sort of how, how the arc of any player would occur over the course of their time in, in school. No question, Josh. I think it takes time, and the guys um, getting in that, in that gym and working on their game, and there's, there's no question he's done that. Uh, and we've got some sophomores in our team, like a Duran Scott, just continue to grow, and I think he has a chance to be one of the great guards in this league, too. Coach, also Virginia, we, we mentioned them a little bit, but uh, you mentioned Tony Ben. He kind of looks at the game from a defensive perspective. A lot of people watch the game offensively. Uh, what challenge does his defense present? Well, it's the pack line defense. I mean, what they do is they, 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 they force you to shoot contested jump shots. They want to keep the ball out of the paint. Uh, we've got to get our double team offense prepared. Uh, they're going to double Reggie. They double every team that has a really good post player. Um, uh, you know, we had some you know, success against him last year when he came in here. So we've got to make sure we, we, we have our spacing and what we need to do against that, that type of defense. Georgia Tech and Virginia coming to the Bank United Center. Great opportunity to get out and support University of Miami basketball. Also a great opportunity right now for all your hurricane information on HurricaneSports.com. It is the all new HurricaneSports.com. Let's take a look at the new and improved University of Miami website. The first thing you'll notice is the new headline area. Click on any of the sliding panels to get a quick synopsis and link to the story. You'll also be able to play video straight from the headlines area. Getting back to the top of the page is the quick links to various multimedia and social media sites. Below that are quick links to buy tickets, donate now, and view the latest videos in our Canes All Access Player. Each menu item will link off to various subpages from the drop down panel. Get a list of the latest headlines. Go to each sports homepage. View or download the current schedule. Get a deep look inside the athletic department. In Fan Zone, you can find all the information, multimedia, and social media for fans. Be sure to also check me out in the Hurricane Hotline and Hurricane Game Day page. Information for recruits. Information about the U and the City of Miami. Quick links for ticket information. The Hurricane Club. And links to our official online shop, photo store, and auctions. Across the middle are all of our current promotions. They'll scroll automatically, but feel free to scroll through them. The Ticket Center will be highlighting the latest games and deals, and be sure to check out the auction area for a chance to bid on authentic game-worn memorabilia. Moving down, in these tabs, you'll have a stream to our Twitter and Facebook. On the sports homepage, you'll have the top five stories in the headlines. Link to the roster, schedule, news, stats, archives, as well as other links are at the top. And there you go for all your information, HurricaneSports.com. And Coach, I know your club will be ready to go this week for two big games. We're excited about the opportunity. As I say, as long as we've got games left on our schedule, we've got great opportunities, and um, we'll get our guys ready to play. Okay, very good. Georgia Tech and Virginia coming up for Julian Gamble, University of Miami head coach Frank Haith. My analyst on the radio, Josh Darrow. I'm Joe Zagacki. We'll see you next week right here on Hurricane Game Day on CSS. So long, everybody.